Hello Indie Game fans, last video on the new indie games from PAX EGX Online 2020 has another bunch of games that I'm interested in, beginning with the Metroidvania, The Darkest Tales. This has you playing as a teddy bear who has to go on a quest to save his owner, but this certainly is not Toy Story. Rather, explore a dark and twisted fairy tale world where the gingerbread man is out for blood, where Little Red Riding Hood has a new dietary preference, and the Little Mermaid is more sea witch than princess. As such, love the theme and the teddy bear protagonist looks cool, contrasted with this sinister world. Life is better there. Do you want to enter the TV? I like weird indie games, but even I have to admit that sad RPG may just be a little too much. Sad RPG, a social anxiety role-playing game, is an experimental indie computer RPG game about social anxiety. An experimental first-person game, this simulates social anxiety where everything seems fine as you are laying down, but literal anxiety monsters begin to appear when you get out into town. It's an unexpectedly powerful, weird and full of surprises journey with our own story. It is perhaps a little on the nose with the commentary, but if it manages to shine a light on said, then perhaps it will be worth it. About dealing with social anxiety disorder. Love me a good action puzzler like Puyo Puyo Tetris or Puzzle Fighter, and one upcoming game to look at is Swapet Showdown, where you have to swap tiles in order to clear them and to create combos. It has a nice variety of characters, each presumably with their own attack patterns and abilities, with story, versus, classic, endless and puzzle modes, and even online play. Story mode. Arthurian legend has been used in many a game, and the next interesting one to do so is Hand of Merlin, a roguelite tactics RPG that mixes the aforementioned lore with sci-fi horror. Certainly looks like an interesting combination, and I'm down for this. As someone of Chinese descent myself, I'm always glad to see more representation in games, with the rewinder being of interest. Play as a medium who's able to communicate with spirits and explore the memories of people to alter the past. Suitably creepy with classic characters from traditional Chinese myths, this gorgeous pixel art game does remind me of Detective D, The Silk Rose Murders from last year and should be great as well. Multiplayer sandboxes can be fun, with Tinker Town looking to capture some of that same magic. As a pixel arts fan, I do love the look of this, 
making everything seem rather cute, and the construction, survival and combat elements makes this one to look forward to. A little bit don't starve and a little bit forager, this one should be fun with friends. Tiny Shot has an interesting developer story since it is from a creator who moved to the Netherlands to escape war torn Syria and fell in love with indie games and, in particular, Edmund Macmillan's work. As can be seen, the visual styling of this does very much look like The Binding of Isaac but as a 2D platformer, so good on the developer for living his dreams and I hope this is fun. Tower Princess was successfully kickstarted in March 2019 and is a procedurally generated 3D platformer which looks quite fun. This has you playing as a knight who needs to rescue a prince or a princess, take them on a date, form a bond and work together to defeat the dragon. A proc gen 3D platformer seems neat and it looks pretty darn good as well, so I'm down for this. One more hidden role local multiplayer game joins the free with the cleverly named Unspottable. Try to impersonate AI characters while hunting down other players and avoiding level hazards. The characters are super weirdly shaped and exaggerated which adds to the whimsy and should be another one which is fun with friends. One beautiful visual novel, which has perhaps a little bit too long of a title, is Beowulf the Apocalypse, Heart of the Forest, set in the World of Darkness franchise. It's a narrative game where you play as a young woman who returns to Poland hoping to trace her family roots but uncovers dark secrets instead. A wacky and fun looking driving puzzle game is You Suck at Parking, where it self describes as the only racing game where the goal is to stop, probably. You suck at parking. Gives me some serious What the Golf vibes, which is a game that I adore. So for having a clever idea which looks well executed, it takes the number one spot. To see more of the big picture, check out these awesome videos and I will see you after the jump. Like